In this video, we'll be learning about creating this type of uh, login UI using the C sharp code only. So here uh, you can see uh, where this uh, whole login UI get optimized in both the orientation that is our uh, vertical as well as the horizontal orientation. And uh, if you have seen my previous video, that is uh, the XAML implementation. So I'll just give that link in my videos, uh, this uh, link description below where uh, uh, you can see the .NET MAUI beautiful login UI for multiple multipurpose using the xaml code so you can just uh, uh, check that video uh, in my uh, videos playlist uh, that is my beginner to advance in uh, in 44 number and then if you want more uh, in this uh, if you want uh, more uh, implementation that is uh, uh, the login uh, login logout feature fully to be implemented that is our how the user logged in and then the uh, session saving and everything i have already defined it in this video that is maui simple login logout in uh, video number 43 so you can just take a look of that and uh, implement that okay so here what we'll do is like we'll redesign the whole ui using the csap and at first what we are going to do is we are going to add three plugins that is is dotnet maui community toolkit uh just type maui community okay so just type maui community toolkit so these three plugins will be adding to the uh, android ios as well as windows or everything all the projects okay so here uh what we actually going to do is like if you have downloaded as well as installed then you will just see all the three plugins on all the projects now what we actually need to do is we are going to uh, call this uh, to to uh, plugin implementation that is our maui community toolkit plugin implementation that's all so uh, first and foremost we are going to create a new ui right so we will be creating a new file and then uh creating a uh, .NET maui template selection and then we'll just create a content page as a c sharp page and give it a name as something like anything okay so here what i have done is like uh the application starts from that page that is doc uh, doc layout page just i have given the name as a doc layout page okay so this gets initialized here you can see um, i'll just uh minimize 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 okay so that uh this tutorial becomes really easy to understand so here in our xaml2 uh if you have uh, uh like uh, understood of, uh, from my previous video okay so in my xaml2 uh, i have not done any 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 magical code okay the so same thing i have done in my csap2 okay i'll just uh, drag and drop over here and then, then show it to you okay so here uh the grid the top grid that means uh, the whole grid this is the whole grid okay the whole grid uh like uh the top grid okay so the first of all the top grid is this one okay and then the left grid is this one the right grid is this one and the bottom grid is this one same thing okay the left grid the left grid uh like uh the dogger position left bottom grid and then the uh, top grid okay so same thing over here also on the c sub side okay so the top grid has contains a grid and it contains an image okay so the image is inside the resources folder uh inside images okay so we are just going to place all the images that are required that is our logo of the whole app okay so after adding it then we are going to give a height of 150 okay so a height of 150 we are going to give and then uh, background color something has x color okay and then that's all and uh, we're just going to close that top grid okay and then again we, we are going to redesign our next grid that is our left grid and in this grid we has we have two uh, two rows okay and the two in the two rows what we are going to uh, add is uh, bo the both the uh, grid are going to be added with the icon images so that means two rows and uh, add the icon image okay so on the grid dot row co column uh, dot row zero and then grid dot row one okay so uh, that that is uh, that is it okay means uh, yeah that is how uh, the uh, grid row 0 and uh, grid row 1 works and then the footer grid okay so same thing goes over here on the footer grid uh, nothing fancy over here a footer grid is going to be added with the uh, label uh, image okay and you can redesign of your own okay and uh, now the center grid okay so center grid is same thing okay a uh, vertical uh, like a grid contains a vertical stack layout here you can see mm. I'll just uh, show it uh, show a full code to you and the same thing over here also uh vertical stack layout i have put uh, into the center of the uh, screen here you can see uh let me just drag and drop and then the final grid is the center grid here you can see the same code i have written it in the CSA. so how uh, it really works so the same grid like vertical stack layout in encapsulating all the controls like the same thing a vertical stack layout or stack layout okay and then uh, which will be play, which will place a uh, uh, like a uh, entry button and then uh, another entry to entry a button that is our sign in button okay so this entry and the button and then uh, 
uh, another another is the or text okay so the or text is uh, going to be there and then the uh, la last five facebook image as well as the uh, google image is going to be center horizontal okay so i have already explained a lot in our previous videos too so i don't need to explain it more in this video and then now what happens is like uh, the whole scroll, scroll view is going to encapsulate everything okay and then uh, we'll just encapsulate it uh, the scroll view is going to scroll right in uh, every direction and then we are going to place that whole scroll view um with a dogger layout that is like how the jam uh, like uh, jamal was also same implement is a scroll view was encapsulating uh the whole uh whole thing a scroll view encapsulating a dog docker layout doc layout is encapsulating all the controls okay same thing here also the doc layout encapsulating top grid left grid um, footer grid as well as the center grid and then that's all so here uh the content uh of that whole uh stack layout that means uh, finally uh, encapsulating the scroll view to the parent ui that is like uh, uh, that is how uh, the whole uh, uh, application work this stack layout uh is going to encapsulate a children as a scroll view and then that's all so we're going to give a background color for that whole uh, ui that is uh, this uh, ui docker layout page uh, with a color and uh, that's all how the uh, csap code uh, really works so uh, this is how the implementation of csap mm, uh, works in our uh, .NET maui in order to create this type of ui so that's all for this tutorial now thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for our next tutorials